Now this is the beautiful you can see pie in the sky appearance. The beautiful pie in the sky appearance which is also called as a superior quadrant anopia. Superior quadrant anopia. Quadrant means this one. So this, if it would have been total then this would have been hemianopia. Now we have divided this. So this is the superior quadrants while these are the inferior quadrants. So this is the superior quadrant anopia. Blindness in the superior. So which fibers will be affected? Opposite fibers. Therefore I can say inferior fibers are affected. Inferior fibers are affected. So if inferior fibers are affected where they are present in the temporal lobe. Therefore, it's a lesion of temporal lobe. And temporal lobe means optic radiation. So, you have to always remember. You have to always remember that in temporal lobe, we have got the, in, we got the superior quadrant anopia. So, you can remember it by the mnemonic ST, ST elevation. You can remember it with the ST elevation as for superior quadrant anopia and T for temporal lobe. Okay. On the other hand, if you get the opposite of this. So, if you get opposite of this, you can see the inferior sides are affected. This is called as the pi in the flow. Here you are going to get pine the floor or this is also called as the inferior quadrant anopia. This is called as the inferior quadrant anopia. So inferior quadrants on both the sides are affected. So if inferior quadrant is affected that means superior fibers are affected. And superior fibers are actually present in the parietal lobe. And parietal lobe is leading to inferior quadrant anopia can be remembered as PI. Peripheral aridectomy is a mnemonic here. P for parietal lobe, I for inferior quadrant anopia. You can remember by the ST elevation and the inferior quadrant anopia. Okay.